Right, let's get this one over and done with, shall we? Wolves 2, Leeds 3. Really, really, really disappointing, frustrating defeat. Um, bonkers game, to be honest, as a neutral. It was, uh, it was probably a hell of a game to watch. Uh, lots of drama, lots of uh, controversy uh, and lots of goals as well. Obviously not going in our favour, um, but sometimes these things don't go in your favour. Um, first half, uh, well, we'll start with the lineup. Lineup was good. I thought three in midfield would help counteract Leeds' high pressing and would leave us with uh, a chance to utilise the space in behind left uh, that Leeds would obviously leave when getting men up the pitch. And it certainly worked in the first half. I thought we looked shaky at the back. I thought we were sloppy in possession, but we were quick on the ball and we were creating chances. Um, and it's that creation that got us into a really good position at half time. Really well worked goal. Um, when Nevers came off for Trincao, I thought that that was pretty much the game kind of, kind of done, really. I was like, right, well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I wasn't expecting too much. But fair play to Trincao, played very well. Very intelligent first assist, took his time, played a wonderful inch perfect pass to Johnny. A really good finish from him. And then also a really, really good second goal as well. Perfectly placed in the bottom corner. Uh, hopefully a sign of more things to come from him. Uh, we haven't really seen too much of that this season, but today I thought he was really good. Um, and we're getting into half-time 2-0 and think, do you know what, this is pretty good. Just get one more kind of wrap it up sort of thing, similar to Watford. But the second half was one of the most ridiculous second halves I've, I've ever seen in football. <laughs> ridiculous. Um, we'll start off with the obvious one, which is the red card for uh, Raul, second yellow. Um, never in a million years a yellow. And yet again, we have to ask ourselves the same questions about the officiating in the Premier League. Kevin Friend today, I thought, overall, in his control of the game, was very, very poor. Uh, fouls given for both sides that shouldn't have been given, fouls that should have been given weren't given. I mean, to send Raul off for that is, is completely ridiculous. You cannot send him off for that. If anything, he was cleaned out more by Melier than Melier was by him. It's a 50-50. I mean, if, if you're giving second yellows for 50-50 challenges, then I'm sorry, but you know, half the teams are going to end up sent off. It's a shocking decision. Uh, and again, we've been let down by, by poor officiating. But for me... Uh, yes, we had a man sent off, but we had the same situation against City and the, the team were resolute and defended well and with, backs the, with their backs to the walls and got the uh, almost got the result if it wasn't again for another poor bit of officiating. This time around, I'm sorry, no excuses whatsoever. Shocking, shocking mentality, defending. Um, it's some of the most atrocious defending we've seen all season. And we've said that several times this season because this team has to learn to be mentally resilient. At the moment, they're just not. At the moment, as soon as the pressure comes on them, they crumble. Should have seen it out today. Yes, we're down to 10 men, but 2 0 up with half an hour to go. We've done it before. Just sit in, soak up the pressure. Leeds rely on space. Okay, they're going to come forward, they're going to attack, just close out the gaps and hit them on the counter-attack and see if we can get anything going. Um, but the, it was just ridiculously poor defending. The first goal, I don't know what Eight Norrie's doing. He had a really shocking game today, by the way. Um, just completely misses the ball. And then Saiz blasts it at his own goal. Connor does well to block it off the line. Cody does well to block it off the line. Then it's tapped in. And at, at this point, you're thinking, well, here we go. This is going to be typical Wolves. Uh, and, it, and it was. Uh, a couple of minutes later, awful goalkeeping by Saar. Again, trying to play hero ball. Coming out when he didn't need to. Hits the post. Then he comes out again to try and meet the challenge. Doesn't get anywhere near it. Uh, and then blasted across. And then I think Cody, could he get it off the line? Maybe. But it'd be a bit harsh, I think, to blame him for that. Uh, again, shocking defending from Saiz. That clearance is just unbelievably bad. We, he's been so poor the past few games. He's kept playing. He's kept being sloppy in possession. And he was awful again today. Every single clearance he had just didn't come off. He was mishitting passes and everything. And that kind of summed his evening up. And then the third one. Uh, yeah. Kind of the same. Set piece defending again. We've been so good from set pieces this season. Uh, but again, let us down. Poor marking. Ailing in acres of space in the penalty area. And, and a pretty simple finish for him as well. Fair play to Leeds. Uh, I think they, they played well in the second half. They took their chances well. Um, and, you know, that's a massive win for them uh, to try and stay in the division. So you can imagine they'll be buzzing with that. Uh, but, yeah, poor officiating and a shocking, shocking mentality yet again. 
uh, letting us down. I know some people might think I'm being harsh, but I'm sorry. You, there's no excuse for that defending. And there's no excuse whatsoever. It doesn't matter if you're down to 10 men. You can feel sorry for yourselves. You don't. You shouldn't. You should be able to defend, see the game out. We didn't do that today. Uh, and, we, and we deserve to lose. We deserve to lose because we were so, so poor defensively. Um, yeah, it's it's been a disappointing start to this run. Um, but look, we've just got to try and get as many points as possible. We've got to bounce back. That's the name of the game. Uh, Wolves 2, uh, Leeds 3. What an absolute crazy, infuriating, bizarre football match that we just had to watch. I mean, let's start. Let's start at the at the start with this, with the DJ set that we all seem to be really hyped up for, and, and created a pretty good atmosphere for us all to get going. Uh, the game starts. We start off pretty poorly, giving a couple of chances away where James is just allowed to run down the, the edge and put the ball into the box. Yeah, they didn't do nothing, and then something, whatever, whatever happened to the game. Something happened. People going down injured. They, I think there was four subs in the first half. Neves going down injured. They had two players come off. Fouls thrown in left, right and centre. The game went on. I mean, we had eight minutes added time. Weird, weird first half. But we managed to score two goals. Two really good goals. From Johnny and Trinkau. Both... Massive credit to Trinkau when he came on because he arguably changed the game. And I don't care what anybody says, he changed the game. And he's a good player and he will be a good player. But we go into it after. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get straight into the second half because that's where the madness has, has, has ensued here. So we've come out for the second half. And the referee, the second half has been... Embarrassing to have to have a person running the football match like him the way he did today is embarrassing for the Premier League and embarrassing for English football. World football. World football. You cannot have him refer referee a football match ever again the way he's refed it today. The the sending off which changed and killed the game for us today. Is laughable. I've watched it back. It's a 50 50. Jimenez isn't high. He's not anywhere dangerously. It's never a fucking foul, let alone a yellow card to start off with. Yeah, he's stupid enough in the fucking first half to give away a foul and a yellow card, but the second one is not a yellow card. So he's killed the game off there to start off with. And the whole game is changed around that sending off. But, a massive, massive but. You cannot defend the way we defended in that last 30, 40 minutes of that football match. And, and think we can win the game. Romain Sois is embarrassing. The second goal come from him from some shit clearance. Lumping it up in the air. Lazy. And the third goal has come from a needless foul that he's given away. That's lumped in the box. And we can't clear our lines for the third time. Three times it's happened in one single half. In 40 minutes. It's a joke. And I know, I know, Wolves, we've done great this year. And, and, and I love what everyone's done for the team. But you cannot play like that and think that you can win a football match. In, in, in defend that way, sorry. I feel so sorry for Trincao and Podence and even Wang when he came on. Matinho ran his bollocks off today for the, for the, for the lads. Even, it, I'm not even talking about the whole of the back five. For me today, the problems were Eight Nuri, Sois and Jose Sarr. Calamitous, all three of them. I cannot believe what we've watched in that second half. The referees killed the game, but we fucking helped. We cannot even think about defending that way again in a football match. Otherwise, we'll get nowhere. Apart from that, I thought we played brilliant today. 
brilliant, especially in the first half, to get those two goals. We, we were pressed and we were able to play out of the press brilliantly and find the space, find the pockets. Poland's running into space. Trincao when he came on. Really well in the first half and I thought, here, here we are, sec second half, we'll, we'll put these to bed. It should have already been put to bed. We could have had three, four, maybe five in the first half. But the way we defended that second half is, is embarrassing. You cannot, you cannot even... Even wonder to win a game that way. I don't know what, what happened to us, whether it was just complete lapses of concentration or the sending off had just put all their heads down, but you cannot lose a football match like that. And I hope I don't see it happen again. I've never seen a Molyneux like it today with, with some of the decisions and some of the, the ways we've defended. They are woeful, that lead side. Woeful. And they were there for the taking today. And ultimately, we bottled it. We massively, massively bottled it. And it's such a shame to see. We move on to Villa in two weeks without Raul. Maybe without Neves. Massive. Massive people we might be losing here. We go again. I can't even begin to explain how I feel. 2-0 up, we're coasting, we're absolutely coasting. And Kevin Friend, he's incompetent. There's no other way. It's either corruption or incompetence, probably the latter. If I was as incompetent as Kevin Friend in my job, I'd have had a sack months ago. To send him and his offer that is an absolute joke. It's a coming together at best. And you know Leeds had the impetus then to go on and win the game. And we should have managed it better. But so it's an absolute joke of a decision. And these kind of decisions change the landscape of the league, as we'll see after this. It's an absolute joke. It's a liberty. It's an absolute liberty the way that he has sent him and his offer. That him and his fuck all all game. However, that is never, ever, ever a sending off. Like I said, 2 0. We were coasting. We were absolutely coasting. Even the goals, though, were very, very soft at the back. Bolly's got to clear his line. Sace has got to clear his lines. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. I'm in Budapest. I'm in a pub full of fucking Leeds fans. and are loving it. I am not loving it. I am not loving it. Yes, it's Can't even. Can't even comprehend how I feel right now. That referee decision has cost us the game. It has simple as that cost us the game. I'll be completely honest with you, the aim for me this season was not to get Europe, it was all about building towards next season. But the fact that we've got ourselves in so many positions and then the media start talking about us, we then start bottling performances like that and to be honest today is no different. You can't go two goals up at home and expect to get a result. That was just embarrassing today, plain and simple. It was absolutely embarrassing. Final score, Wolves 2, leads 3. Um, I just don't know what to say anymore it's just like I got called like pretty much very negative how we performed against Everton the main reason why I was you could argue more negative is because that you know every time we seem to not play well the next week we don't seem to get a good result and for me that's kind of the way I see it as today look in the first half I thought we was doing okay Leeds for me were the better team the 5-3-2 system just does not work even when we are getting decent results, I still don't think it's necessarily the right system that suits the players that we've got at this football club. Um, I mean, the team selection, again, Kilman has an unbelievable game and he gets dropped. Roman Sae, still an automatic starter in this football team when, ever since he's come back from the African Cup of Nations, he has been nothing short of absolutely embarrassing. Um, and I don't think today was any different for him, to be quite honest with you. Um, we we done okay in the first half. You could tell that, you know, we was, we was the team... It was kind of like Leeds were the better in the first in the first couple of minutes. As soon as Neves came up, we brought on Trincao. That immediately made all the difference, unfortunately. I hope it's not serious for Neves. He's our best midfielder at the football club. Um, and then it goes Jean Martinho. But the gap between Martinho and Neves is ridiculous. Um, and again, that's no disrespect to Jean Martinho. It's just how good Ruben Neves is. But again, Martinho does incredible with that ball over towards Trincao. That's his best game in a wool shirt for me. And that's a performance that we've been looking for for God knows how many months now. 
And um, yeah, just after that, then we um, it was a really, really good, well taken goal. Johnny's been absolutely unbelievable since he's come back. Johnny's been really, really good, and it's just good to see the wing back, the wing backs start to get into the box, which is something that we've been lacking in the last couple of games. For the second goal, it's unbelievable play. Leeds just switch off, and it's an unbelievable finish from Trincao. And at that point, we're cruising. Raul Jimenez has missed opportunities again in the first half. We easily could have been four goals up at half time. We was the team that was bossing it as soon as we went to the 5 2 3. Or the 5, yeah, the 5 2 3. And then just after that, we, we just kind of, it was kind of just an even game. And the decision on Raul Jimenez is a fucking joke. Anyone with a footballing brain knows that it's not a fucking booking at all. I mean, his first booking's quite harsh as well. It's the fact that the referees genuinely looked at that and gone, oh yeah, he's dangering his opponent. When you actually look at the replay, don't get me wrong, the goalie has won the ball, but he's leading with an elbow and he's, if anything, endangering Raul Jimenez. But Raul Jimenez has got every right to go for that ball. If you're being, you know, super, super non-biased... Benefit of the doubt normally tends to go with a goalkeeper, but that's never a second yellow card. And after that, it just completely changed the game. It completely ruined the momentum that we had in, in, that, um, in the game. But again, we shouldn't be putting ourselves in a position where a refereeing decision makes all of the difference. When the reality was the defensive calamities was an absolute joke. The first goal, eight nori. I've been, I've been given a lot of praise to eight nori this season. Just misreads the pass. And the problem is we just switch off and every single time it seems like, you know, that there's like a 50-50 or the ball seems to be get bouncing around. It always just seems to be going towards the, um, going towards the Leeds man. But then second goal, what the fuck are we doing? Saïs is fucking shit. He shouldn't be fucking starting for Wolves, plain and simple. Again, Totti Gomez must think, what have I got to do to get a game when he's done literally nothing wrong? Max Kilman. Again, he's been one of our best defenders this season, thinking he's dropped because of Willy Bolly. And you're thinking, well, hold on. How come Saïs is on the team when Saïs is the player who keeps making mistakes? He does this every single game. But that clearance was fucking abysmal. Absolutely shocking. But again, Saar as well. I mean, he's coming out for that one when he literally does not look like when, that he's going to be getting the ball at all. 2-2. Two -two. And from there... The momentum just shifted at one, even when it came to 2-1. The amount of times Dendonka kept leaving Aitnori short for passes so Leeds could tackle and show more aggression to get their fans built up, it was more just we were inviting the pressure on ourselves again. I know it doesn't help having 10 men. There's only so much refereeing decisions can make and the referee changed the game massively. But at the same time, the referee did not, con did not score three goals against us today. The third goal, it's fucking calamitous again. And it just almost goes to show them why, why are we changing our back three around? And if anything, the back three should be Kilman on the right centre-back, Cody and Bolly. Cody was the only one who didn't disgrace himself today. But that's fucking, ab that's fucking abysmal again. That's fucking abysmal. We're in a position now where a lot of people have gone, started to take Wolves more seriously. We started to be taken more seriously from the general media. But as soon as these players get a little bit of pressure on them, they bottled it. They did exactly the same thing against Arsenal. They did exactly the same thing in the Europa League when we faced Sevilla. When a lot of people were talking about Wolves are genuine contenders to win the Europa League. And we bottled it that day. FA Cup semi-final, we bottled it. Finishing in a higher position on the final day of the season against Chelsea. Once again, we bottled it. These players are bottle jobs. And half of the players, for me, has to be a proper rebuild. I, I'm convinced that Bruno Large is not happy with this team. I am massively convinced by that. But we can't just go, oh yeah, let's just move on to the next match. No, this is embarrassing. And this, for me, just signals... This for, how I'm going to judge the rest of the season now is players that are going to be good enough for us next season. And I've already made my mind up on quite a number of players. I think, strip the whole team down, give it a proper rebuild, and then let Bruno sign the players that he wants there's a concept right thanks for having me on talking wolves and um i'll be honest with you this is my fifth take because um i may have got a little bit angry in the f previous ones that i was trying to make cheers lads so wolves two leads three i'm all on you um i actually don't know where to start with that 
Um, Wolves were cheated tonight by Kevin Friend, and there's no two ways about it. Um, you might think it sounded bitter, you might think it sounded sore loser, that sort of thing. I'm going to say two things here. One, this team are bottle jobs. Every time they need to do something, every time they need to win, to get back into something, to have a real go at something, to have a chance at anything, they fuck it away. Every single time it's disgraceful. Now, they weren't helped tonight at all, which is why it'll be slightly more easy on them. Kevin Friend sends Raul Jimenez off for nothing. For a 50-50 challenge with Elan Melier. It is a joke. You The... Definition they gave, well, tried to give, allegedly give, is Raul Jimenez recklessly goes in to try and win the ball. Elan Melier does exactly the same. And if Jimenez was there a millisecond before, he'd have got the ball and Melier probably would have been yellow carded. But no, how can you give a yellow card for a 50-50 challenge? But that is where the game turned. That is where the game turned. There's no doubt about that. And the first half injuries all over the place, 10 minutes out of time. Wolves went 1-0 up. Uh, Trincao came on for Ruben Nevers, who went off with an injury, because that's great. That's all we need as well. Trincao came on, and it was his best game in a Wolves shirt. He was absolutely sensational for that remainder of the first half, setting up Johnny for a goal, who won't get any mentions tonight, obviously now, because we've lost 3-2. But Johnny... Really happy for him to get a goal. Really happy, and he deserves it because he's been he was really good up until that collapse um, from Wolves in the second half, and it was a nice little finish. And Trincao got the second nice cutback from Pedence. So Wolves are on easy street two 0 up with Patrick Bamford having gone off, Click having gone off in the first half. You think, well, this is good for Wolves, and Lorente went off as well for. Robin Koch and Leeds offered really precious little. Patrick Bamford missed a chance, but apart from that, not much else. Wolves in total control. Raul Jimenez, who didn't have a great game, missed a couple of opportunities as well when Melier was out the goal but and had a bicycle kick which went about 400 yards into the North Bank. But apart from that, like Wolves played re quite well in the first half. Leeds not threatening at that that much at all. Like Really, you can, you can say that. And Wolves tune up, and you could say... Probably heading on to Easy Street for the second half. And I'm pessimistic and I think Wolves, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. But I couldn't see 11 v 11 how Leeds were going to score two or three in that game. Because it just wasn't going to happen. It, 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 you couldn't have credited it. But it was swung five minutes into the second half by Kevin Friend. How he can send Jimenez off for that, I, I don't know. Head completely gone was at the game. The whole place turned completely toxic after that. And I'm not surprised. I am not surprised because that was disgraceful. And you could say, oh, it's a sore loser thing. No, it's just it's just right and wrong. Now, that shouldn't have been a red card. Everybody can agree on that. I'm sure even Leeds fans could agree on that. Now, please let me know if you do disagree, why you disagree, because it is a red card. You can't, it isn't a red card. You can't make a case for it. But Wolves defensively capitulating pathetically for all three of the second half goals was disgusting. It really was. It, it was terrible. Every sense of the word. I can't even remember the order the goals came in. The first one, I knew it pathetically. Let Ailing in behind and he's shot at the post and the ball's bouncing round for ages and eventually it's forced in, I think, by Harrison down uh, that end of the goal. And it was just tap in 2-1 and then you think, OK, that was coming. That was always going to come when you're down to 10 men. Keep it tight. Try and keep it compact again. But no, the defenders went to sea completely. Sa is... Four, like 10 20 yards out of his goal and James just lobs it over him ball hits a post bouncing around and you think oh we've got away with it but then no oh, Sice Sice just completely scuffs the ball completely the ball comes down bouncing round Rodrigo round San Cody kicks it into his own net well, it couldn't really help because he was running back well that was really bad from Wolves again defensively like you got to look at it both ways. Size probably should have gone off for Tozzi Gomez or someone, or Max Kilman in the first half, because he had a head injury. Good thing that Charlie Cresswell led with his elbow and hit him in the head, but no, no, no reprimands for that. God forbid Kevin Friend would give his precious leads anything against them. And then the third goal was just a mess from Wolves again, defending on a set piece, ball bounced around the back, Bolly couldn't clear with his head and ailing, smashes it under Joseph San into the net and Leeds won the game 3-2 and Wolves tried to make subs, Chiquinho and Fabio Silva both came on. Uh, Trincao had another shot which the Leeds goalkeeper came on, who came on, he did alright, he saved that, but really and truly Wolves 
capitulated, but along with being cheated tonight, have produced the worst result of their season. Any European place is probably gone now. Wolves have two weeks to stew on that before they play Aston Villa again. But I'm not going to go in too heavily on them. I think I already might have done. But, but the Wolves were cheated tonight by Kevin Friend. The decision turned on the red card. It's never a red card. Other fouls at the end. If you watch a full game, you know what I'm talking about. Chiquinho, two hands on his shoulders, pulled back. Nothing given by the referee. Wolves didn't get anything tonight. And Leeds got soft free kicks all over the place. And that is down to Kevin Friend. But Leeds, judging by the second half, a load of kids, spirited performance. They will be delighted to come away with a win. They're a good team. They probably won't go down anyway. And I don't think they're ever in any danger of going down anyway. But tonight it's about how Wolves... And Kevin Friend both came together to completely mess up Wolves' season. <laughs> I know it might be a bit reactionary. they got Villa next at home. That'll be a tough game. But seriously, you have to ask questions about the officials in this league. Because it's not the first time this season, or indeed in general, Wolves have been absolutely really shafted by referees. So you've got to look at it from the point of view of City away this season as well. as another one that immediately springs to mind. How long before referees have to answer for their decisions? <laughs> It'll be years because they're protected. They are protected and they will not be called out by any pundits or anyone really because Wolves aren't one of the big six clubs. We know this. It won't be. It'll be forgotten about by Monday. It'll all be about how amazing Lees were in the second half when really they didn't really miss a chance. <sighs> now <laughs> That's about it now. Wolves, terrible capitulation. Molyneux, everyone f fell to pieces in the second half. It really did after such a promising first half. It's uh, going to be a long and tough international break now for Wolves. But maybe they could still rescue something this season, perhaps seventh. But tonight, it is a tough one. It is a sore one. It's Wolves 2, leads 3 at the end of the night.